This is the last hospital left in the Gaza Strip where Soad Zohair can receive kidney dialysis. She used to go to a hospital near her home in Rafah for treatment, but it shut down after Israel's latest offensive. Now, she makes the dangerous journey up the coast with her daughter, Ambala Zohair. I come with my mother for her dialysis session, and we are suffering a lot. It took us an hour on the road in transportation, and still, one is afraid of the road. It's not safe where we are. They could come in at any second. Sawad needs kidney dialysis to keep her alive. But there are only 19 machines here, and staff are running around the clock. Saeed Kitab is the head of the kidney department. He says there's barely enough time to sterilize machines between patients. This is the only remaining hospital for dialysis serving the entire Gaza Strip, serving around 1,000 remaining patients with kidney failure. Sawad's treatment is supposed to last four hours, but she can only have the machine for two. And no one can say when she will get it again. They are under a lot of pressure. Everyone from Rafa, Khan Yunis, and Gaza City and central Gaza are here. They are under a lot of pressure in the hospital. They are doing their best, but still they're under a lot of pressure. It is always in danger. Israel's assault around Rafa is bringing what's left of the enclave's medical system to its knees, doctors say. It launched its offensive in response to a cross-border attack by Hamas militants on Israel on October 7th. Israel says Hamas militants are hiding in Rafa, where the population has been swelled by hundreds of thousands of Palestinians seeking refuge from bombardments elsewhere.